Just one microorganism has conquered the world. A small organism, a microorganism, which cannot be certainly called a living thing, has conquered the world. It's causing a lot of problems the world over. Business activities, sports and other events may be slowed or halted altogether. Even with the mightiest brain of this world will conquer the organism and will bring good news. Happiness and health will come back. And happy news flows unobstructed. For happy news, news analysis. News analysis, a weekly magazine on current affairs. We will begin it with the headlines first. Coronavirus, White House concede US lacks enough test kits. Iran limits travel and urges banknote avoidance. Delhi rights toddler separated in violence reunited with family. Delhi's inventive answer to the electric car. Afghan conflict top code backs war crimes probe. Trolling forces newspaper to end women's Australian rules comments. Dubai Sheikh Mohammed Maktoum abducted daughters and threatened wife UK court. Now we'll go to the stories in detail. Coronavirus White House concede US lacks enough test kits. The White House has acknowledged the nation does not have enough coronavirus test kits as cases of disease ticked upwards on both coasts. Vice President Mike Pence said the Trump administration would not be able to meet its objective of delivering 1 million test kits this week. Congress, meanwhile, moved with unusual speed to approve a bumper emergency aid package to combat the outbreak. Globally, authorities have confirmed more than 92,000 cases of the virus. The vast majority, more than 80,000, are in China, where the virus originated. Worldwide, more than 3,000 people have died. The U.S. death toll from the coronavirus climbed to 12 on Thursday, with all but one of the victims in the northwestern U.S. state of Washington. There are now more than 200 cases of COVID-19 in 20 states. In Washington, officials in the Seattle area announced 20 new cases of the virus, bringing the total in the state to 70, according to its health department. Nine of the U.S. dead so far were from the same nursing home in suburban Seattle, which is now being investigated by authorities to see if it followed the infection prevention guidelines. Some major Seattle area businesses, including Microsoft and Amazon, have shut down some operations or urged employees to work from home. New York saw its case law double overnight to 22, all of them in or near the city. The city's mayor called on the federal government to send more test kits urgently. We don't have enough tests today to meet what we anticipate will be the demand going forward, Mr. Pence said during a visit to a factory in Minnesota. He added, we are focused very much on a cruise ship just off the California coast today. It's not clear how many test kits will be available, but Republican Senator Rick Scott told Bloomberg News the figure will be way smaller than that. President Donald Trump says the U.S. has had relatively few confirmed cases of the virus because of his administration's decision to prohibit U.S. entry to foreign nationals who have visited China, the epicenter of the outbreak, and Iran during the previous 14 days. But the health experts fear the virus may be spread undetected in U.S. community because of the lack of testing kits. The president is expected to sign a $8.3 billion funding bill passed 96-1 by the U.S. Senate on Thursday. It's intended to help state and local governments combat the coronavirus.